as the Prophet وآله, along with his companions, he approaches Hudaybiyah, which is not far from Mecca. His camel, known as the Qaswa, stops. So the initial intent was to go to Mecca. The Prophet had put on his an ihram and he's on his way to Mecca to do the pilgrimage. When they reach Hudaybiyah, that village close to Mecca, the Prophet's camel stops. It refuses to move any further. So the people said, this camel whose name was Qaswa or Qaswa has frozen. You know how sometimes like a horse just freezes, an animal freezes, alaykum as -salam. It freezes and it refuses to move any, you know, um, further distance. So they thought that this camel just froze. The Prophet said, no, she didn't freeze. And this is, this is not a habit that she has. So then what is it Ya Rasulullah? Why is your camel refusing to proceed any further? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stated, وَلَكِنْ حَبَسَهَا حَابِسُ الْفِيلِ عَنْ مَكَّةِ The one who stopped the elephants from destroying the Kaaba, entering Mecca, has commanded her to stop. So the Prophet here makes a reference to Amil Fil, the event of the elephants, Abraha who tried to destroy the Kaaba, and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed his army and he, Allah stopped the elephants from, from proceeding any fur, further towards Mecca. So the Prophet was telling his companions that Allah is the one who now commanded my camel to stop and not go any further. Then the Prophet states, this animal has stopped at this spot under the order of Allah so that our duty may become manifest. Then he ordered all of them to dismount and to pitch their tents there. So the Prophet avoids entering Mecca and instead, where does he settle? In Hudaybiyah. Now this was a clear sign to everyone that Allah was guiding the Prophet and that Allah didn't want the Prophet to enter Mecca. That's a sign. If God wanted his Prophet to go to Mecca, he would have just proceeded. But the camel stopped and the Prophet told them, just like Allah stopped those elephants, he has stopped my camel. He's indirectly telling them, look, God does not want us to enter Mecca. Be prepared. It wasn't because the Prophet feared Quraysh or he's going to compromise and show weakness. That's not the case. It's by the order of Allah. And my dear brothers and sisters, this makes the mistake of some companions disobeying the Prophet later in Hudaybiyah even bigger because they had a clear sign from Allah that Allah didn't want the Prophet to enter Mecca. And what's even more disturbing, as we shall see later, when the Prophet tells them to shave their heads and let's get out of the Ihram, there's no pilgrimage Umrah this year, many companions became uncomfortable. They were very upset, very depressed. Why? Are we doing this? No, this is not right. We should teach the Quraysh a lesson. They can't do this to us. Many of them struggled to obey the Prophet. Why? Who are you worshiping? Who were they angry at when they became angry? And they even did not, were not polite with the Prophet, as we shall see later. Why were they being angry? Were they angry at Allah, at the Prophet? They were angry at the Prophet for telling them to come out of their ihram and this is not befitting of a good companion to show anger at the Prophet. But this lesson teaches us that sometimes patience is more difficult than victory. Sometimes you can go and fight and seek revenge, but when you have to be patient, it's more difficult. This is why Ahlul Bayt are so, so special to us because no one after the Prophet showed us patience like they did. Contrast the scene of the companions objecting to the Prophet and let's go and fight to Lady Zainab alayhi salam who said, Ridallah, Ridana, Ahlul Bayt. We are satisfied with whatever Allah 
wills for us. And when Ibn Ziyad asked her, how do you see what God to, did to your brother Hussein? She said, ma ra'aytu illa jamila. I see nothing but beauty. Who comes close to the Ahlul Bayt from these companions? They objected to the Prophet, they objected to Allah, but the Ahlul Bayt, they always surrendered themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the idea is worship God the way He wants. Obey the Prophet the way He commands you. Don't come up with your own suggestions. If the Prophet tells you, take off your ihram, take off your ihram. End the pilgrimage and go back. Why do you get upset at him? Why do you get disappointed with the Prophet? This indicates your faith is not complete. There's a problem in your faith. So this is a very important lesson for us. In any case, to continue our journey of Hudaybiyah, Allah does not allow the Prophet to, men to enter Mecca for two reasons. Allah could have told the Prophet, go and fight them. But there were two reasons, primary reasons. Number one, Allah wanted to try and test the companions. It's a test. Are you going to listen to Allah and His Messenger or no? Secondly, there were believers in Mecca. The Muslims were not aware of them. If the Muslims would have entered Mecca and a war would break out, those believers in Mecca would have been accidentally killed by the Muslims. Because they, the Muslims would think these are pagans, they're part of the war, you know, let's kill them. So innocent people would have gotten killed, especially mu'mineen. And Allah does not want that to happen. Hence Allah states in Surah Al-Fatih, verse 25, They are the ones, the people of Mecca, who denied revelation and hindered you from the sacred mosque. And the sacrificial animals, detained from reaching their place of sacrifice because they brought camels with them to sacrifice for the Hajj. So the, peg, the, the, the pagans blocked the Muslims. So the Quran is saying they are the evil ones for stopping you. But then, then Allah states, had there not been believing men and believing women whom you don't know about, you did not know about in Mecca, and you trample down on them, right? You'd fight them, they could be killed, and on whose account a crime would have accrued to you without your knowledge. If it for it for this, Allah would have allowed you to enter Mecca and to fight. But there are believers now in Mecca, they're doing taqiyya, they're secretly believers. If a war happens now, these people will be killed by you. So you Muslims will end up killing other fellow Muslims without knowing it. The timing is not appropriate to enter Mecca now. So this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in Surah Al-Fatih verse 25. So the Prophet makes it very clear. My camel is instructed by God not to proceed any further to Mecca. We have to stay here.